arrived at your destination. Thank you. Now, behind such voices that are actually revolutionizing the voice acting industry is one powerful gentleman who is live with me in studio. You might have heard his voice, but today you will see his face. And you're being joined live in studio by Mutala Mukosia. He's a voice actor. He's also a media profession and also my classmate. So... <laughs> Guess who I'm interviewing today? <laughs> nice to meet you, Mutala. Nice to meet you. In person, Brian, I think how after you? how many years? I don't know. Hey, it's over years. eight? Over eight years now. Yeah. But we do uh, link yeah. up. On and off, on yes, and off. Yes, yeah. yes. So it's interesting how, you know, you carved yourself into the voice acting space. Yes. And how I carved myself into radio and television. But yeah. either way, yeah. we keep on, you know, we engaging on the blocks somewhere. of this industry. Yeah, so sure. it's really interesting as well. But you've really grown. You've met incredible milestones in the voice acting industry. And Thank you're you. here to speak on it as an expert. So in the first place, for a person who is looking forward to build a reputable voice acting career, where do they begin from? So, for you to, you know, say that I want to join the voiceover industry, you have, first of all, to be intentional about it and have the passion to say that, you know, okay, I want to do this. But apart from that, there are so basic, or a few basic things that you need to learn about voice acting, first of all. Like, you should, there's something that actually applies in journalism or maybe a music, uh, a musician or something like that. So yeah. you need to master the language that you're using, either if it's Swahili, English, whatever, Luya, Kikuyu. So you must master that language so well. Yeah. And I think you must ensure that you are audible. You must work on your articulation. Right. You must work on your pronunciation. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are a few also other things like, uh, you know, um, you know, health journey that you need to follow. Right. Like, uh, first of all, you need to do uh, something like, you know, exercises, normal exercises. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not about just running, but also learning breathing techniques. You need to learn about lip trails and all that. Yeah. And um, just to master also what foods to avoid or what to take. For example, yeah. uh -huh. you need to avoid alcohol. You need to avoid a lot of caffeine. You need to avoid... Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, cold things. You need to avoid uh, things with a lot of uh, acidity. Right. So, yeah, those are among right. the few things. Mm -hmm. Even smoking, you need to avoid if you want now to master. You know, there's been uh, this notion that, you know, uh, when you uh, maybe consume alcohol or maybe smoke, yeah. uh, it makes your voice deep. But right. uh, or deeper, mm. but um, or more crispy, in, yeah, yeah, cooler. something like that. Yeah. But in voice acting, you know, voice acting is so vast and also so diverse. Right. To the fact that you'll come to realize when now you go into detail about voiceover, yeah. you cannot hold your breath when you smoke a lot. Right. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. So it's a health hazard. Yeah. yeah sure. Sure. It right. is. Yeah. Okay. Now I, th I believe also it's one thing to have a voice as yes. the talent, yes. but then there's a, the other side of it. How are you going to use your voice to make money? So that means you're going to establish a way of either you ingratiating or finding yourself in the voice acting industry. Yes. And yes. now you start networking with people, yeah. and then also just being. You know, you can have a voice, but you have no face. Yeah. And sometimes you have the face and then mm. the voice as no, well. No voice. Or maybe sometimes you have the face and not a voice, but then yes. that comes in with the face for radio and mm. face for TV. Mm. You know, I don't know. You'll tell me later on where I'm at. But mm. uh, just to ask you, if you have to start now that journey of mm. finding the opportunities, networking and growing as a brand, yeah. Yeah. How, does, how, the, how does the ROPS go? Okay. First of all, I can say like this, you know, voiceover, uh, people have just started knowing about voiceover the other day. And, uh, you know, voiceover used to be like a by-the-way thing. Even in school, we were, never, we were never taught something about, you know, voiceover. It was just a by-the-way thing. But right now, voiceover is a very serious industry. It's a very, it's a multi-million industry yeah. of which now people have got, uh, like, people are getting interested into it right now. Right. So, um... To venture into voiceover, like uh, right now, I think it is uh, diverse enough and also it is accommodative enough and um, it's expansive at the same time such that, you know, it accommodates a lot of people because mm -hmm. voiceover has got uh, different repertoires and, uh, right. you know, there is a part of commercial, there is a part of narration, there is a part yeah. of uh, voice acting. There yeah. is uh, the one that you mentioned, uh, right. navigation to, you know, instructional uh, type yes. of voiceovers. So mm -hmm. 
it accommodates different people. It, it, uh, it accommodates different characters at the same time. Right. Maybe there is someone who is good at uh, narration. Okay. Uh, there is someone also who is good at characters, like cartoons uh, or maybe animations, if you can say. Yeah. So people right now have got opportunity to be able to identify their strongholds and right. set themselves into that space. Right. So voiceover is in the right direction right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to join the voiceover industry, I think okay. this is the best and right time for you to join because it's not as complicated as back then because everything has been streamlined up to this right. moment. And okay. later on maybe, uh, I don't know if you asked the question, there is an aspect of... Uh, uh, of uh, of uh, artificial intelligence that yeah. isn't as easy and work for voice over taste, of which others are thinking it is a yeah. disadvantage, mm -hmm. but it's actually an advantage for voice talent. So right. okay. for you as a voice talent, or if you want to join the voice over industry, I mm -hmm. think there's a perfect time for you to do so. Wow, amazing. Yeah. I think we had talked about that with my co-host a little yeah. bit, how, you know, uh, I think she's Karen Jacobson, mm -hmm. the voice behind, you have arrived at your destination, wow. please wow. alight on I think the Ubers and the GPS, oh, yeah. Man. But then uh, still on you, uh, I'll come to know your personal journey. Okay. And now when it comes to nurturing your voice so that mm. you get a voice acting style, yeah. because um, I I'm boring this from my radio training, yeah? Yes. You yes. were told you speak your voice, you don't act a voice. Yes, sure. And that's why it's possible for you to even go for a radio audition. Yeah. Yes, you sound the best, but you're not, your, you're not using your voice. Yes, you're yes. mimicking or acting somebody else's voice. So mm -hmm. it does not sound natural. It looks yeah. like you're forcing even the stressing and the yeah, syllable. Sure, sure. So when it comes to that kind of nurturing for a voice actor, mm. how do they go about that part so that they niche a voice for themselves? Like your voice is distinct. I believe there's people as well that you, if you yeah. listen to them on radio, you know, this is my Nakageni. Yes, this is okay. Caroline Toko. This is Sheila Moniga mm -hmm. or Kaleche Momo. Mm -hmm. They have distinct voices and yeah. they're natural. Yeah. So for voice actors who are coming up, mm -hmm. how can they walk down that path? So, uh, of course, uh, there are voice artists who are born with their natural voices, but okay. there are others who train their voices to be, uh, uh, maybe to, to, to develop or maybe to grow in this art. Mm -hmm. So for a voice of artist, first of all, you can have a good voice, but at the same time, there's some of the few things that you, you need to follow or right. you need to train yourself so that you can master because uh -huh. the tone, intonation, the cadences, right. it is something that you practice until you master it. Right. Because I do say, you know, something like a voiceover, right. uh, for me, I take it as a, as a performance. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, some of it will require you to speak with your natural voice, but um, sometimes it will require you to maybe speak at an ex exaggerated pace or right. maybe a different cadence to be able to achieve yeah. uh, mm -hmm. that, uh, that instruction given on that given script that you have been given maybe to convey mm. to your audience. Or oh, that style, because yeah, I've yeah, even yeah. seen There's some so they many say styles. this is upbeat, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, a little yeah. bit sure, quirky. Sure, sure, sure. So you must know also mm. the styles yeah, of yeah, voicing yeah. as an actor. For example, yeah. for commercials, of course, right. they, they take more of an um, upbeat. Yeah. For something mm -hmm. like a narration of which uh, instructional uh, documentaries, right. of course, mm -hmm. uh, they go authoritative and also there is a, 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 a yeah. you are narrating, okay. you are storytelling. Right. So they take different styles. Mm -hmm. So you go something like uh, characters. Mm -hmm. Characters basically means um, false, mostly we say voice acting. Now right. from the word acting, if you can capture it, sometimes it doesn't require you to speak with your natural voice. Okay, because you're an actor. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Like you, you can you can find uh, I, there there is a there there is a uh, there is a, uh, a character I did for a brand uh, somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like it, it required me to do an accent in Luya. Right. So my Luya for me is quite easier. Yeah. So that one is a performance because it was more. I keep No, that's a oh, performance. Okay. That's not how <laughs> I speak. Right. You of see. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so for voiceover, it has got so many categories and yeah. so many repertoires mm. such that you know, mm. others may require you to speak with your natural voice. Others mm. may require you to act. So with that, it comes with a lot of practice and also right. personal training, or maybe you can look for a, a personal voice coach, to, a voice coach yeah. Yeah, to help you. Yeah. yeah. But then uh, I was reading, uh, I'm borrowing also from my training. So we are yes. sharing notes here. Sure. Uh, we were told, because the trainer was Amzungu who trained me as well. Uh, yes. It was pace. Mm. no, it was pitch, yeah. and then the pace, and then the punch. So yes. you're maintaining this uh, 
you've said repertoire. Mm -hmm. you mean, you're maintaining this curve. So mm -hmm. if you're saying Mutala Mukosia, it's, it's, it's consistent. So yeah. it means you're not over-pronouncing or yes. acting a pronunciation. Yes, it's you yes. naturally maintaining. Sure, sure. Now for a pitch, for a person who has a younger voice, yeah. how do they develop the voice so that it comes out fluid? I think the word is inflecting because that's what you do on radio. You inflect your voice and expand it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So for a person who is coming up, how can they nurture their voice and start inflecting? So first of all, you need to learn the basics, like uh, I shared before. Like first of all, first things first, try as much as possible to be able to identify your natural voice. Right. That's one basic thing that you need to do as a voiceover talent. Another thing, you need to master the pronunciation, articulation. Uh -huh. Have you mastered those basic things? Right. Uh, after that, you go to something called breathing techniques. Uh -huh. So I think that's where people find it uh, very hard, especially for young voice talent, because yeah. someone can start uh, maybe performing a script, then mm -hmm. they have a problem with breathing because they cannot hold their breath to the complete breath. a sentence. Yeah. So you need to breathe not from your chest, you mm. need to learn breathing from, from your, your bottom, diaphragm from, stomach or from okay. your stomach. Or diaphragm, you say, for yeah, that like that. Yeah. Diaphragm, uh, diaphragmatic yeah. uh, breathing. Yeah. So, if you master that first of all, that is the beginning of your journey. And voiceover can say it's not something that uh, maybe you can start today and uh, magic right. happens the same day. Okay. It is a process. Like yeah. you need to practice each and over every and single over. day. Up to now, up to now, me like uh, I can say. I'm a professional voice talent, but right. I still practice each practice and every, every day. day. Yeah. yeah. I, I actually, I think it's there's something you process. shared, yes. and Ketsi Dede shared it in Valk. Yes. Uh, right now, I think it's called Valk of East Africa, yeah? Yes. She captured something that you shared, uh, mm. Ketsi Dede, and you ha I think you, s you shared voices keep changing mm. and growing. Yes, so yes. if you're a voice actor in 2023, yeah. it's, it's absolutely to see shocked rather and interesting that you're yeah. not exactly sounding the same this because thing. your voice grew yes. also your vocal technique because i believe yeah. it's also about the technique yeah. of the, the voice cadence and how the cadence you use develops it, yeah. to a vast uh, rise and, and and the resonance of the voice so yeah, you grow true. and nurture your voice yeah, yeah? yeah, yeah. Yes. that was interesting because you know, somebody might say, because also if you borrow from people like, you know, my Nakageni, yes. you, you're likely to see that the voice has been constant, yeah. even Jeff Koinange. Yeah. So uh, for such people, would you say that maybe already they are there and they've established themselves in the industry and they've mastered the art, so it's, there's no fluctuation. Like mm. yesterday you were sounding a little bit like mm. cool, Bell Dewey's and then today you're sounding like Mike Mondo or mm -hmm. today you're sounding like Mutala Mukosia yeah. or your friend, your mm. friend <laughs> Fred in the movie. <laughs> Fred in the movie. So I, I, I think it takes a lot of nurturing like you've yeah, said. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, okay, let me say something. You uh -huh. know sometimes you can't realize that your voice is actually growing. Uh -huh. uh, from, my, from my end, I can actually realize that right. your voice has really changed. My well, voice has well, changed, right? Changed a lot. From the first time we were in campus, in campus right up now. And also Thank checked God to radio. <laughs> <laughs> and I checked also mine. Uh -huh. there, is a, there is a classwork that we are doing, the practicals. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a, 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 a radio documentary I did. Right. In campus, it actually uh, sounded very nice. So yeah. a few weeks ago, I listened you to listen it and I was like, uh, uh, You're like, that's uh, not no, me. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's not me. So yeah. the voice keeps changing. And right. also your environment, people mm -hmm. that you engage in, uh, engage with. Sometimes they, you know, there, is a, there is an aspect maybe you borrow from them without even you realizing. Right. There, is, um, there is an animation I did. Okay. Um, it was like uh, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it was actually for Ethiopia, Malawi, and Ghana. So wow. I was mm -hmm. given that assignment to, you know, translate them to Swahili. That's voice acting right. because of animations. Mm -hmm. So there is a there is a character I actually uh, performed. Mm -hmm. Then later on, I realized someone told me you sound like Yusuf Juma. Oh, wow. Okay. Then I come to realize I came to realize that actually, you know, we used to do a podcast with Yusuf Juma. Wow. So okay. sometimes you can borrow from someone without even you You're realizing. Knowing, yeah. You learned yeah. from another voice. Yeah, actor. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. uh, sometimes uh, developing or maybe growing your voice, you might borrow uh, a certain cadence from someone, mm -hmm. and uh, just to expand uh, on your, you know, on your voice, uh, you know, how to maneuver with your voice without right. even you realizing, and that's how people grow in yeah. the voiceover. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, I want us now to get to the industry, but yes. now your journey a little yeah. bit because 
you went off from being a media professional to mm. now getting into the voice acting space anyways, yes, which yes. both of us are still using our voices anyways. Yes, so sure. how did it happen at some point? Because you are a journalist and then yeah. you switch into voice acting. And when w which was your first gig? I don't know if you remember your first voiceover gig. Yeah. Uh, the one you did. Uh, please tell us how it was. Okay. And how much was the pay, <laughs> most important? <coughs> okay. It's interesting because some of these things I'm talking about, you know these people and you have been in the same space. Okay. Um, so I remember the year was uh, 2013. I just joined campus the same week. Mm -hmm. So a friend of mine, Leon Poke, of course you know him, mm -hmm. had gone to join uh, Multimedia University Radio. He wanted to join Multimedia University and actually he succeeded. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a good uh, journalist up to now. He's doing an amazing job. Yeah. So when Leo told me, man, I've joined MMU Radio, I also got, uh, you know, that interest. I want to join MMU Radio. Yeah. So we went together with my friend Leo. So while inside the booth, mm -hmm. there was a paper on a recording studio of Multimedia University. Right. It, uh, it was written MMU Radio. So right. I read this is the Multimedia University Radio. Yeah. This Please don't is tell me M you're still the voice. <laughs> yeah. Are you still the same, same voice? <laughs> Man, I listen to them. I, I'm what still, the they still <laughs> use my voice. Even wow, that, that was your voice. Swahili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that what one, kwa habari za utendeti. He ni kurunzi ya MMU. Oh, Up to now, they're okay. still using that wow. voice. Uh -huh. And that's how I joined Multimedia University Radio. Right. So for my first check, I cannot say like, uh, I cannot say like uh, it was a good pay. Mm -hmm. Basically, I did not know much about voiceover, if it is even a thing. Mm, so people okay. used to come from uh, outside the school, right. like uh, they used to come, you know, looking for me to do for them scripts. But for me, I used just to do, give me yeah. 200 shillings. I'm good with that because I never really understood the value of my voice. Right. So the first time I really understood um, the value of my voice mm -hmm. was um, those, um, though, there was someone who referred me to a studio in Karen. Okay. And they wanted someone to do a title for a movie. Right. And uh, that I can say was my first check that I said, okay, actually voice over pace. Mm. Because there were just like three, two words right. for a title of a movie and I was paid $2,000. Mm -hmm. So wow. that's when I wow. realized wow. that, you know, and wow. I was still in school. Which so year was <laughs> this? 2019? Just before COVID? No, 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 no. Way yeah, back. Man. That is, we are talking about 2016. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's way back. I had not uh, I I yeah. was yet to graduate even. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. 2,000 US dollars. Yeah. You should join this industry <laughs> very fast. <laughs> so that yeah, was that my was first, first thing to, okay. to, to actually see, okay, now voice, voice over actually pays. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But then uh, let's look at the industry itself. In Kenya, it's expanding. I was reading an article mm. that says in the USA, uh, let's say a typical, a typical average uh, voice actor is mm. earning $48.17 that is per hour. And uh, maybe they're charging for maybe studio time mm. and just their presence. But uh, when you come, and, and I think that is equivalent to maybe 6,220 something um, mm. Kenya shillings here, yeah? mm. roughly there, please check here. Yeah? Mm. But when you look at that right in, in this country, Kenya, mm. and how you know uh, voice acting is yeah. literally growing and blossoming too fast, mm. now we even have Voice Actors League of East Africa, there's yes, yes. Voice Actors League of Kenya. Yes. I know you know so many since it's your space anyways. Yeah. When you look at the industry right here in Kenya, mm. how is it in terms of um, giving opportunities to other upcoming voice talents and mm. those that are already in the space, mm. are they welcoming to those that are peeping? Yes. <laughs> because also, even like in the media space, yes, the media yes. has gatekeepers. They yes, have the way yes, they do yes, talent yes, scouting, yeah? yeah? So for you to get in, you also need another person to identify you as a talent. So sure, I don't sure, know if it's sure, the same sure. thing as the voice acting industry. So uh, basically for us, when we started voice acting, it was um, but right now things are stream, uh, streamlining up and uh, it's quite easier for a voiceover talent to join the industry right now. And I think voiceover industry, many people just don't know where to get these works, don't mm. know what to do. Yeah. But one thing I can tell you for free, voiceover industry is lucrative in Kenya than wow. even in the US. Wow, okay. Yeah, than uh -huh. or any other country in, yeah, in Africa. Mm -hmm. But people don't know where to, you know, to get the opportunities, to, to get the opportunities the jobs, what yeah. to do. And how to pitch yourself. And yeah. uh, just how to, you know, uh, negotiate your deals. Right. That is the biggest problem. And that means coming up with a red card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
you need you need a rate card but sometimes i do say rate cards does not really apply fully mm -hmm. the truth be told to some specific because projects okay sometimes how uh -huh. i'm going to charge a multinational uh, organization or maybe company mm. is not how I'm going to charge a small business somewhere in Gara. Right. You know, so there is how you maneuver and uh, mm. sometimes the the rate card cannot really apply fully. Even mm. sometimes your rate card can even bind you from big opportunities. Right. So it's a contract, yes. It yeah. has, so it you has your must. resume yeah. <laughs> and what you're charging but again, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. binding you. Be okay. Because it's, it, 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 it it is um it is um it, it is something that i've realized even uh with my journey mm -hmm. like uh, sometimes i find myself uh, i i used to find myself under quoting wow you can say okay uh, for this voiceover maybe pay, pay me 70000 kenya shillings and someone uh -huh. was actually having a budget of half a million wow so so you end up you, you know, end up <laughs> yeah, sure sure uh -huh. sure sure so uh -huh. so you must master uh for me I say different clients have got different rate yeah, charges cards, or, rate or cards, charges yeah. Uh -huh. yeah so how do you then put yourself in that because also the person is judging because they'll mm. be like hey Sanko or hey Mutala yes can I hear your previous commercials and the ones you've done mm -hmm. of course you've written on your CV your or yeah, even your, yeah, yeah. or your red card rather yeah, sure. you've done for keys classic and maybe these other mm. stations and even government like you yeah sure. so when this client is listening to them are they expecting something to for you to twist it down or maybe a little bit higher and can you negotiate if it's possible hey with time i've learned how to negotiate because so far i've been in this industry for 11 years so mm -hmm. with that also comes with experience That's comes with ups and downs and yeah. now like i can say i've mastered the industry i can mm -hmm. say i know the ins and outs of this industry so mm -hmm. i know what to say and i okay. know what to you know to 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 you know to to pitch to, to pitch the client, uh, yeah. to, to the client mm -hmm. for me about you know client sharing or maybe asking me to share uh, maybe my samples uh, mm -hmm. most of the time i don't get that a lot because they have seen my works because i share right. almost all my works on my social media platform so right. when a client comes to me mm -hmm. he knows already that i can do I can yes, do you're it. Capable. I can do this. Like, I'm capable yeah, of reaching doing out to yeah, yeah. Yeah. So most Because of them I also understand, sorry to cut you yes, short, sure. I want you to expound on it. There's yeah. levels of voice actors. There's yes. the entry level yes, where yes. you're just starting and trying to figure out, oh, yeah, where yeah. the hell am I? Yeah, sure. And then there's, oh, did I use hell? <laughs> okay. Anyways, <laughs> and then there's, there's the intermediate now. Yes, You're so in the industry trying yeah. to find footing and grounding. So people are yeah. getting to hear you and they yes. know ah, that is Sanko. Mm. And then now there's now a pro voice actor. I don't know if you consider yourself as a pro and a professional now. You're mm. established, you have mm. the networks, you have the money. You can say, no, not today. I don't want to do this one. Or this one does not resonate with my brand. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you guys say it. This one does not <laughs> resonate with what I do. <laughs> Yeah, Let me refer you to an intern, you know? Yeah. So uh, for, for, for a person who's in between that, is it possible also for them to grow? Idea, I do like I'm an intermediate yeah. voice actor. Yeah. And this is what I'm charging. And then also now for uh, an already, let's say, established one, this mm. is what I'm charging. Should the rates be different or they should be the same? Okay. Of course, the rates are different, uh, depending on the type of work or depending on what you're doing. Mm. But, uh, you know, it is always, um, like for any, like any other voice of a talent, you have an opportunity to grow and it's up to you to say, I want to grow. If you have the passion in you to say, okay, I'm choosing this journey and I want to reach uh, this place, mm -hmm. you are going to achieve that. Right. So, uh, for, you know, charges, I do say, most for voice talents, like if you're an upcoming, I do say for a Kenyan market, uh -huh. you can charge around like... Uh, Let's say 5,000. 5, I do 000. encourage that. That is now for an intermediate. Uh, a person you, you are just the entry you found level. your footing. In the yeah, oh, entry, yeah. entry level. Entry level. Entry level, bro. The other day, somebody wanted 3,500. <laughs> You're like, what? But when you tell them the, the, the nitty gritties of it, they're like, no, I have a budget of 2,000. Yeah. And you're like, what do you mean? 2,000 is not enough. Be because people don't, know, uh, don't understand the voiceover, they think that it's just about reading. They right. don't know it is an art on its own that, mm -hmm. you know, it, it is a journey or it has taken you time to be able to be where you are at that, uh, at that given moment. Right. So there is also an aspect of uh, production. People don't see that. Yes. You're using someone's studio or maybe your studio of which, right. you know, those equipment are you. very expensive. Right? The good microphones it, yeah. are very expensive. Yeah. You're talking about maybe editing part of it. 
Mm -hmm. You are talking about the techniques you have learned because these uh, commercials or voiceovers require also the emotional part of it. Right. You know, uh, the intro, you know, the body, you know, the outro part of it, you know, uh, yeah. every, uh, the, you know, uh, five W's and H how yeah. they have been answered in that same uh, same script. Okay. So a client sometimes, if you don't uh, create that clarity to mm -hmm. him or her, he yes. or she cannot be yes. able to understand that actually voiceover it is something, yeah. you know, it's not uh, just about very intensive. Script, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's not about it. just yeah. reading. Yeah. So when mm -hmm. they understand the production also part of it and also okay. the art part of it, Right. It's very cl it's very good for you as an uh, as a as a, as a as a talent also to help your clients to get to, to understand get the that. Yeah. Because okay. on my side, I make it very 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 easy. I make it uh, very easy or maybe point blank to my clients to understand what it takes maybe to just uh, you know uh, narrate this script. Mm -hmm. I give for example maybe production alone. That's right. uh, maybe the maybe cheapest. Production that's ten thousand gone already. That's cheap. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah, studio time is very cheap. expensive. Yes, true. I agree. Studio time is very expensive. No, I agree. It's not. Well. Maybe if you've uh, got a friend, who can right. give you with five thousand. Yeah. Yeah, because I know that aspect. Okay. Yeah. Talk about uh, now. Now you have you have mentioned something beautiful. Now let me now be able to. Yeah. Uh, Let's go ahead. To 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 explain to to, okay. to 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 the audience watching. Mm -hmm. You are a client, you mm. want to sell maybe a house. Okay. And this house is around maybe 10 million Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. You have been unable to sell this house by yourself. You need mm -hmm. someone to maybe communicate on your behalf mm -hmm. so that this highly probable prospect can actually get that information right. and be able to buy this house. Mm -hmm. So you look for me. Mm. I am the one selling. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So, what makes it hard for you to like take it like a commission? Maybe just take me, give me like uh, three percent mm -hmm. because I'm the one selling. So, when right. you look at it in that angle, is when you realize the value of for voice of a talent because he is the one convincing that client on mm -hmm. your behalf so and that the client can be able to house. buy that given product or service. Okay. Interesting. Now, when you understand in that angle, it's when you realize the value of a, of voice, vo actor. Of a voice actor or voice artist. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, also, now that you brought it up, so for example, if a client is looking for, let's say, a specific voice, uh, yes, I don't yes. know if there's types of voices in the voice acting industry. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, you've mentioned a house. Uh, I, I was listening to somebody who did a Mercedes one. Mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe also a chemist is looking for. A, a voice actor to sell a drug or yes, a specific yes, tablet yes, yes. or maybe a pesticide yeah. and they are, they, are, they are vetting the voices and they are, yeah. they are maybe in the archive they've been sent because mostly clients usually ask do you mind selling us uh, the names of the voice actors and yes, maybe some of sure, their sure. things they've done sure. the audios sure. etc yeah mm. so if a client is approaching you mm. what are they looking for specifically from a voice actor for them to be able to sell their product so most of the time the clients wants to sell this given product and for you to uh, sell this product, you need to understand who is the right person to sell this product. Okay. For example, I'll give you a simple example. When I want to sell something like, uh, uh, is it called diaper, diapers, right? Yeah, the diapers. Who am I going to, to look for? Is it uh, a female voice or a male voice? Yeah. I think it can depend, depending on the audience, but of yeah. course female. Yes, female, female is voice. appropriate, yeah? Because uh -huh. they can actually be able, they're relatable to that context. Right, and mothers. You see, most of the time when uh -huh. you're selling alcoholic products, mm -hmm. male voices are, are more related, or maybe cars. Right. So that also applies to tones. Right. Maybe you are doing something like a GPS navigation. Right. You need like a... Um, it's a commanding, a, instructive voice, right? Like a soothing voice. It's not uh -huh. like you are really commanding. Okay. That is how, like, I want to feel comfortable following you. Right. You see, uh -huh. same applies to instructional videos or maybe uh, something uh, like uh, announcements. Maybe the announcement type of voiceover happens maybe in train stations or maybe the airports. And the banks mostly. Yeah. yeah. There is a commercial of which it requires uh -huh. upbeat. There is a maybe narration. So different voiceovers require different voices it right. does it's not a must for you to have a deep voice so that uh, you'll be 
Okay. Maybe the best candidate yeah. for a voiceover. People uh, think you should be Jeff Queen no, 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 no. and Maina not, Kageli. Not really true. Oh my, oh my, but not it's really about true. That, yeah. Not really true. Uh -huh. It is actually your delivery matters more than your voice. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Delivery so if you deliver, mm -hmm. that is king, man. Is I it remember. the delivery style or the voicing style or the type of the voice? Because all of those are coming into play anyways. So, just remember also, uh -huh. different scripts have got different approaches, right? right? Mm -hmm. But you know, voiceover is, it does not tie. This, this is an art of which right. it does not tie you to a specific, it, a, a specific yeah. thing. So right. sometimes you might have something in your idea, you think this is the best approach, but mm -hmm. someone can be more creative and come up with something really different and deliver yeah. it to the audience even yeah. more than what you had on your mind. And it's more welcoming, yeah, soothing. Yeah, sure. So it yeah. depends with your delivery. That's the most important thing. Right. As a voice talent, you should be able to know that. How to deliver. Yeah. yeah. So delivery yeah. is the key. Because I remember, I remember, I remember uh, there was a time we were in campus doing our, our practicals. Right. There was a guy, uh, one of my, our classmates, you know, he came up with something, something like a skit. Uh -huh. And all of us were like, welcome to Multimedia University Hotel. But this yeah. guy came up with something very simple, like, you know, ah, mimi nataka kuobana. Mimi, nimechoka kuosha ngu. Yeah. And you, then the next guy came and said, Puna nataka kuosha ngu. Just yeah. go to MMU, uh, right. nini laundry MMU hotel or something. Nini MMU laundry. Service, but yeah. like, wow, bibu. No, bibu, I don't know. So, something oh like goodness. that. So creative yeah. things like it's that. It's entertaining and creative. Yeah, yeah, entertaining and creative. So it right. depends with the de delivery and uh, your creative perspective also. Wow. It's not wow. a must that you have this beautiful, amazing, welcome to, yeah. uh, you know. Yes. And the Sheila Moniga yeah, and yeah, the Cynthia yeah. Kimola and yeah. those are the, <laughs> the people as well in the industry. Yeah. But then now for now like for a TV station, let's yes. say Y254. Yes. And I believe it was the tail and we will try act out something. Sure, see, sure, sure. If Y254 was, was to approach you to do for them a station ID soundtrack mm -hmm. or maybe mm -hmm. a sweeper. Uh, do TVs have sweepers? Yeah, they do. Yes. But mostly t sweepers are for radio. Yeah? Radio, yeah. So if we were to pitch for you something, yes. uh, what are the things that you must consider on the table? Because I also believe the script really matters because most yeah. clients I've seen mm -hmm. even in my mm -hmm. experience, somebody sends you six pages of a PDF yes. and tells you, oh, Nikona mm -hmm. balance here 2,500, but yeah. then they don't know that even for the script itself, you're charging for the number of words. Yes, sure. Per, 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 less even per line, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. So if we were to pitch for you, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that you would consider so that so you bring it to us something amazing? That falls to something called, it's mostly f falls under agreements uh, and uh, mm -hmm. contracts and all that. Right. So for a voiceover talent, first of all, you should, ma you should know that um, if you're given this type of voiceover, mm -hmm. first of all, the before, script, I believe, uh, yeah. you're, you're before now you say even your, your rate card and all that, mm -hmm. just know, where is it going to run? Right. Another thing, maybe what other additional medias or maybe channels are, are, is this voiceover going to run? Yeah. And uh, also, you should also know, know for how long Right. Yeah? Uh -huh. Know that. And uh -huh. if maybe for a specific period of time, maybe you've agreed maybe in the next three months, uh -huh. what happens if it runs, maybe they, you know, uh, they, they overrun have extra, it, they overrun months. it, what <laughs> happens, what are the compensation? Yeah. Or oh, they should be compensation. Yeah, it should do. be compensation. Okay. Also, uh, as, a, as, a, as a voiceover talent, when you do a, a voiceover, you should also know that, you know, for how long is it going to run on radio? Mm. And for the extra time, should the client inform you of that and tell you by... No, you should, if they don't inform you, you should inform you them. Should you should be able them, to know right? that as a voiceover talent because that's your work. So you can sue at that point? <laughs> no, I, I'm, not a, I'm not an advocate of suing and suing all the time. You can have a mutual agreement. Uh -huh. It's much easier than suing. Yeah. You can have a mutual agreement where if maybe they breach, mm -hmm. now you can advance now legal. to maybe seek a legal, legal advice or okay. maybe approach. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, you have mutual agreements. Sometimes, the, oh, at times, these people don't know these things. Right. So it's good for you as a voice talent when you have got this knowledge, you'll be able to share with them so mm -hmm. that they don't breach this agreement. Right. Because it is very easy. Some, some, they, most of the time, just people don't have this awareness of what it means to be a voice of a talent and mm -hmm. uh, uh, what, uh, you know, what 
it takes maybe to make these commercials or maybe these voiceovers. So if they know and you have to an agreement on what to do or before you do this, it yeah. becomes easier for both of you. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, but the industry is growing in Kenya. Yeah. You've told me there's people who are welcoming this, those yeah. who are not. But now when it comes to finding these gigs, yeah. is it must you be part of a community so that maybe they can identify and say, because we have Mtala. Mtala yeah. has done mm -hmm. Lapsit. Mtala has done this and that. Mm -hmm. We think he can be best fit. Ama, you can just even do everything on digital and mm -hmm. post yourself out there. We will read it on <laughs> IG, your followers, whoever follows you, they can reach out for you know, opportunities and say, you know what, I think Mtala can do this. Ama, you must be part of a league. Not really. Even uh, me, I'm not even part of any league. Right. Or maybe any organization. I'm surprised whatsoever. you're not even involved. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm That's not. when I knew you were uh, a pro. Okay, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> so, right. the world is very uh, is a global village right now, yeah. and most of my clients, ninety percent of my clients, even I've never met them. Right. Like I've done projects for any, any, like uh, let's say, any organization that you can ever think of in Kenya, the biggest or whatever. I've yeah. done something for them. Yeah. And if I've not done something for you, you should ask yourself, where's the problem? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so uh -huh. I use my social media platforms mm -hmm. to market myself. Right. When you go to my TikTok or maybe Instagram or maybe Facebook, you can see yeah. I've shared a lot about what I do. So sometimes I just do record myself when I'm doing the behind the scenes. Yeah. When uh, maybe I've presented my work to the clients, maybe I've seen it, uh, it has already aired, then I get, you know, a sample. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I just cut a sample from it, then I share it with, uh, share it with, uh, with my, you know, my audience on social media. So from right. there, I've been mm -hmm. able to get a lot of, uh, or maybe majority of my clients from social media platforms. Right. Back then I used to go for auditions, but I, I don't go <coughs> much because uh, of things that used to happen. Because uh -huh. people have got, uh, you know, it's just fear. Mm -hmm. You find most of these uh, voiceover talent, because it's a, it's a circle, most of these voiceover uh, Leagues, talents, yeah. maybe, uh -huh. okay. they know me. Or scouters. You see, uh -huh. like young talents. Right. Most of the time when I used to go for auditions, when they see me, mm. they just they go, they, they quit. Flee they, the scene. They, yeah, they flee because the scene. Because they know they you think have, you've come to quenish them. Maybe I've just gone to I yeah. just try. Maybe it's not my stronghold. You know, there are so many types of voiceovers. Maybe right. I just know this is not my thing, but yeah. I'm just going but to, let me just to try. To try. Yeah. But someone, when someone sees you, no, they flee like, the hey, scene, man. This so guy is here. We are done. So okay. I stopped going, and uh, now I focus on, on uh, social media. you know social media, of which for uh -huh. me it's working well. Right. In our conversation earlier on, you had mentioned about AI, and I told yes, you, yes, I tried yes. to yeah. uh, share with my co-star <laughs> yeah. about how, you know, they say, it's called, I think, voice synthesis, how AI is trying to simulate mm. and even copy Synthetic already, voice, yes. uh, already mm. existing voiceovers or mm. voice actors. Mm. Uh, I think I was watching, I think it's called, what, it's something, First Move, yeah, First Move yes. with Julia Chantel and CNN. Mm. There's a couple, a couple of voice actors who are there. Mm. They were talking about how there's a tech company that mm. dubbed their voice mm. and they fed it into a boat and it replicated their voice and the ad was running. Yeah. Like it ran for over six months without them knowing. So they yeah. were suing for a huge sum of, of, yeah. of cash, yeah? Yeah. yeah? So when it comes to now AI and mm. how mm. it's revolutionizing mm. the industry, mm. is it advancing? Mm. Or is it ripping off away from the voice actors? But you said it's a good thing. I'm <laughs> surprised at yeah, the same time. Yeah, it is a good thing. Uh -huh. You know, one thing you should not, or maybe you should be able to know by this time is that, you know, technology or new things are here to stay. And right. uh, AI is here to stay. So you should be accommodative to it. You should be able to embrace it rather than fight it. Okay. The reason being, uh, for me, I say AI or synthetic voice is good for a voice over talent uh -huh. because it's going to make you immortal. Right. It's like this. Take for example, um, right now you can capture my voice at my younger age, maybe when I was young, especially mm. for the young talents who are coming up right now, the young, uh, mm. maybe 10 year olds are joining the voiceover industry. Mm. So AI can capture your voice maybe when you're 10 years. Right. Then it captures your voice again when you're around maybe 20, 30. Mm. Mm -hmm. 40. So when a client wants your voice at the age of 40, he mm -hmm. or she can actually go back and check your synthetic voice. Right. And it doesn't need you to be in studio now. Mm -hmm. You can just uh, command it and prompt maybe the script and all is done for you. Yeah. And even your child can inherit your voice. Wow. So imagine uh -huh. you are immortal right. because of AI. 
So for me, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing for me. Okay. And it has, uh, it's going to, maybe right now it has not captured the emotional uh, aspect of uh, voiceover because you, you can actually feel uh, yeah. there is a robotic aspect of it still. Right. But I know the uh, coming the years is going to evolve and uh, yeah, of, yeah, it's know, going to come out uh, within time. Like uh -huh. So okay. it's a good thing for a voiceover talent okay. and uh, it can... It is easier for you as a voiceover talent to do your work even simultaneously. If you've got maybe, mm. uh, maybe 30 scripts, you can just right. prompt at once and, and all is it, done. Yeah. Yeah. So but what shocked me is, I think yeah. it was shared on Citizen Digital. Yes. There's a, there's a news excerpt they did on yeah. their platform. Yeah. And uh, I think it was voiced abroad by an yeah. AI bot. Yes, yes. So these are two guys. Yeah. Both of them are AI voices, a lady and a gent. Yeah. But they are talking about Kenyan events. And you know the Kenyan names, Mwirigi, Mwaharu. Yeah. And the way they are pronouncing it, it almost looked as if, it sounded as if it was real people. Yes, yes. But then I was shocked. The guy who was doing the commentary, Akasema, this is AI. Oh. And this is how it's actually revolutionizing but then mm. the comments were like but it's ripping off you know original voice actors mm. it's ripping off that human touch and that human voice mm. crispiness and the yeah. warmness of you yes, know yes, listening yeah. to you know a human yes. being mm. so i think it was incredible to see yeah. that mm. very incredible. so that is evolution everywhere uh -huh. everywhere every sector there is uh, an aspect of evolution in terms of technology and information. Yeah. So the earlier you accommodate it, the easier for you. So the only way you are going to be part of the voiceover or maybe to be part of the future of the voiceover by mm -hmm. accepting that this thing is here and right. accommodating it rather than fighting it. That is what I can say. And yeah. also, I forgot to mention, I was the first person or maybe Kenyan okay. to synthesize my voice. Wow, so yes. it's already there on yeah, it's uh, already AI type of it. Yeah, yeah, but you okay. know, the earlier uh, synthetic voices were a bit robotic. So right, right now, there is uh, actually there is a, a studio I'm actually working with. Okay. Now, we want it to capture the emotional part of it, to capture my cadence, my tone, and how yeah. like I speak. Right. Like Naturally, so that you can't human, really yeah. differentiate between the AI synthetic voice and, and the, yeah, wow. my real voice. Yeah. I think that's interesting. Yeah. But then also when you look at uh, bots like uh, ChatGPT, yeah. yeah. uh, that's another LLM, large language model of you know, yes, the yes. bots, yeah. ChatGPT, mm. Google, mm. Siri, Alexa. Mm. All of these are uh, voice, uh, why originally human voices. I've yes, told you yes. about the GPS of Karen Jacobson. I yes. think her voice has been used in over one billion ads and even GPS as well. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to, for example, now a person selling out a, a, a certain part of their voice, yeah. how can they constantly continue to rip off of that? Is it, let's say, a long-term contract? Yeah. Ama, you once did it and it aired and thus it, you, people will keep on hearing, oh, and you keep on telling them, by the way, you only say with Yango, <laughs> Ama, you can sign a long-term contract with them yes, yes. and still continue you, to follow You know, uh, I mentioned something like this in the agreements. So you uh -huh. have to understand also, if you're going to use my voice maybe to, uh, for a certain product or maybe service, okay. for how long is it going to be used? And for this period of time, how are you going to compensate me? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to compensate me something? Like there is a, there are other voiceover talents that you know, uh, their voices they are being compensated like annually, others right. monthly. So, what deal are you going to you know uh, negotiate on the table mm -hmm. for it to become easier for you? Right. So for. I did not also mention the AI aspect of it. Maybe your voice has been used in AI, mm -hmm. you know, s synthesized. Right. You can copyright that. All right. Okay. Such that when someone uses that, uh, s your synthetic voice, mm -hmm. there is a compensation. They, uh, they, there is something they pay for right. using that for voice. That voice okay. So that is the future. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Interesting. But then now uh, for a client who maybe they've not written the script, because mm -hmm. I believe the script, <laughs> I was reading somewhere, it, it was saying it's easy to write, to, to get a bad movie mm -hmm. out of a good script than yeah. get a bad movie out of a bad script because that's horrible already. Mm -hmm. But I believe killer scripts bring mm -hmm. out the very best. So yeah, for yeah. a client who's approaching you, they don't have a script, mm -hmm. they want you to write for them the script, or maybe they just have a rough idea mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of, of the product they're selling. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you break it down to a point now you're finalizing and agreeing Mm -hmm. This advert is probably three lines yeah. because you're also minimizing word economy, I believe, is a very, very key essential. deal when mm -hmm. it comes to mm -hmm. script writing for yeah, commercials. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how do you uh, debunk that? So you, you're talking about um, charging for a script, charging for production, charging yes. for voiceover. And maybe also let me add in, they mm -hmm. don't have a studio. Yes. You're doing it for, for them. In your with your equipment yes or maybe they also have a studio yeah. but they don't know how to script it so they want you to script and then go to their studio and voice it yeah but that is so easy uh -huh. 
it's just a script voiceover then production. So mm. you pay me for script, production, and my voiceover. Okay. So it's as easy as that. So the amount should reflect for the script. Yeah, part? a script is so different. That's something else. That's another That's chart. not my work. Even oh. that's not That's me. not part of you, yeah. Yeah, me, I'm uh -huh. Tyler the voice. That one right. is George. Then this other is Mkosia doing yeah. that. But so now if you're <laughs> doing all of them, how much approximately would that be, roughly? It depends with also, I told you something about a client and uh -huh. the type of project you're doing. Mm -hmm. But I'll give you a rough estimate. Uh, like for me, the lowest voiceover you can pay me, just right. voice on, voiceover, lowest, lowest, mm -hmm. just advertising like even something like um, furniture or something is 20, 20,000 mm -hmm. 20, Kenya shillings. That is the lowest, like I've said, that is the minimum. Like you are broke, you are poor. Yeah, yeah, Talk yeah, to yeah, me yeah, nicely. Yeah, yeah. So That's the amount you're charging. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and you pay me first before I do the work. Wow, yeah. okay. So it, it, it's that. easier because you've seen my work already. You know uh -huh. I can do it. Right. Uh, I, I hate pull and push with clients. Yeah. That's why I can say you we can amicably yeah? uh, agree on how you're going to pay me okay. to avoid these legal uh, no. processes and all that. So mm. the earlier you pay me, the better. So immediately your money hits my account, the work Bom, begins. So I've made it okay. easier for my clients like that. So yeah. the work with it, uh, between us be uh, is easy peasy. So for that, okay. if I say voiceover maybe it is around maybe 50,000. A script, maybe it's around uh, maybe 30,000 or maybe production is going to take. There is, there is, but to differentiate this, there is production mm -hmm. and there is a uh, studio time. Right. You know, at first I never included that, but I saw so uh, studio a time. <laughs> he shared and I saw yeah, studio time is 15,000. Yeah. Wow, I was, I was tongue tied. But production now is different. Even uh -huh. sometimes production is uh, more expensive than even the voiceover. Right, yeah. yeah. True. Because, let me, let me share with you. Okay. There is something happening in the industry that people don't know. Uh, and this really, maybe in the future, people are, are going to have a very hard time with uh, copyright issues. Right. Because someone just downloads uh, maybe a background music or maybe an instrumental from YouTube or any other, you know, yeah. uh, platform. Mm -hmm. But remember, when you're talking about production, you're mm -hmm. actually talking about making that instrumental or maybe background sound from scratch. Right. You need a guitarist. You mm -hmm. need someone to play a piano. You need yeah. someone to, to play a drum. Like it, it's so curated from yeah, scratch. Yeah, yeah. So okay. it involves just a basic... Uh, pure basic uh, commercial right. might require like uh, around 15 to 20 people to produce. Right. Oh, yeah. uh, I've even seen that with uh, Morgan Freeman yeah. when he's doing that. I think, was he among the voices in the World Cup? The other, the previous World Cup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. he was. He, yeah. In fact, he was among the, inter yeah. the, the presenters. Yeah. I want us to get to act a little bit of the scripts right here. Okay. Uh, I try to share them with you very fast. Just maybe two or three, mm -hmm. and then you tell us some of the notable voices in the industry and why they should, the young people who are aspiring to be voice actors should, you know, look up to them. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the you can do the, fa you can tell me if, if it's instructional or not. So maybe you, ca you can do your version and then I can try act it out. If I can't, please forgive me. Okay, the yeah. first one for men. You can I do I the I instructional one. Uh, you can leave the men there. Do the, okay. the thank you. You have okay. a right. Yeah. Thank you. You have arrived at your destination. Good luck. Just a second processing. Now please move to the next bench. Good morning. And this is why in the morning. You don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be late. Oh, the script has changed here, actually. It okay. went like instructional, but uh, the yeah. third from... Th oh. Good morning. This is why in the morning. Okay. You don't want to miss this. It's going to be late. See you there. Wow. Okay, so, so for the first one is The first one and two is okay. more of instructional. But okay. from here, it took more of a, a sweeper. Oh. It took more di uh, to a direction of a sweeper. Okay. With the fourth one. The oh. first one is actually a, 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 it's a commercial. It's a more upbeat. You need to go faster. Okay. And... Um, <coughs> The good morning one. So, the good up morning. next, uh -huh. on the Oscar okay. stage, ready to present a award for the best TV performance. Your host, always doing the most. From Kenya to global stage, driving crazy on radio. Oh, driving, driving you crazy. Hmm? Yes, you're okay. right. Driving you crazy, driving you on, crazy radio. on radio. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Mtalam Kosia, Brian Sakwa. Okay. Something like that. Wow. The last one? Mm. The soothing. The soothing music. So for this one, uh -huh. uh, there's two approach. Okay. Uh, it depends with... Uh, uh, it, it, it also looks like a, a radio sweeper more. More of a right. radio sweeper. And uh -huh. also it looks like... Uh, like uh, an intro for something. Yeah. This soothing, this soothing music make your day go faster, faster and faster. And you, another wow. take you can go. Okay. This soothing, mu this soothing music make your day faster, faster and faster. Wow. So you okay. can use either two Bravo. approaches yeah. on that. Bro, you should be you should, you should be there, you should be in the Oscars twenty twenty four. Trust me. So I want you to do this. I want you to yes. pick for me one of yes. the scripts. Yeah. Then I'll attempt I'll attempt to do it. Not the difficult one, tougher than me. Maybe uh, the one that you have not done, this um up this uh, So this one you go faster. Uh, so I, I'll I teach you, I'll, I want you I'll, to I'll teach you something. Me, yeah. We have we faster. have a minute. <laughs> oh. Remember we have a minute here. Okay. Uh -huh. So do not use Mende if you're allergic to chemical-based pesticides. Mende may cause you dizziness, headache and diarrhea when accidentally, when accidentally ingested. Rush to the nearest soft store if this occurs. Mende number killer for harmful pesticides. All right, huh? so I should try to do that. Yeah. All right, here we go. Do not use Mende if you're allergic to chemical-based pesticides. Mende may cause dizziness, headache and diarrhea when accidentally ingested. Rush to the nearest hospital if this occurs. Mm. Mende, number one killer for harmful pests. Wow. You've got, you got, you got a good voice. So Thank I you. think the only thing you need to work on uh -huh. is uh, this upbeat. It requires more part. punch okay. and uh, faster because Pace it is uh, commercial. Punch. Okay. Yeah. I've it's got upbeat. Pace and punch. So energy. Nice. Yeah. More energy. But that was amazing. That was amazing. You you can do yeah. good narration. I can do good narration. Yeah, yeah. Now you see Documentaries the and the instructional uh, yeah. voiceovers. Thank you. Yeah. So, so uh, we have to go. It's nine fifty nine. So tell people where mm. they can get to find you, book you. Mm. If you have an event coming up very fast in fifteen mm. seconds, because it's nine fifty nine. Here's your yeah, camera. So my book, uh, the voice in a voice, the um, the, the first uh, actually voiceover curriculum is coming uh, very soon so for maybe if you want to reach out to me you can call 0721 34 7204 or maybe check my social media platform facebook instagram twitter tiktok mtalam kosia the voice right absolutely now you know thank you so much for sharing Asante this sana. interesting conversation thank you very so much. riveting and informative thank you and nice to meet you after i don't know how many years in eight the seven years around there okay. <laughs> Uh, and thank you too as well for trailblazing with us from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Time for us to say goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow bright and early right here. See you tomorrow.